Vern from VFC Archery. Today I've got with me a 47 inch Osage bow, self bow. You can tell it's very flat, very little uh, string follow on it, no recurves, a little setback in the handle and I'm going to cut down a 47 inch bow down to a 42 inch bow. In doing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to document the results. We're going to shoot it and see how many feet per second we get with a 405 grain arrow in my chrono. We're going to take it up to the garage. We're going to find out what draw length we'll get as well as the pound. Okay, for that 47 inch Osage self bow, I'm going to draw back this 27 and a half inch arrow. So I'll pull it back and get the side view. Okay, we've got that 47 inch Osage bow strung. We've got a 405 grain arrow. Let's see how many feet per second we get. 145, 141. Let's zoom in and take a look there. We'll do it the old fashioned way. I'll move the camera and you can get a reading there. Okay, so here we are in the garage. I've got the 47 inch bow up on my tiller. You can see the tiller on it. There we are at about 25 inches, we're at 35 pounds. So I'm going to draw it down to about 20 and 22 inches just to see what draw weight I get to compare the cut bow down to 42 inches. Take a look at that, I'll draw down to 20 and we've got about 22 pounds. And I'll draw down to 22 and we've got about 26 to 27 pounds. As promised. Here are two and a half inches cut off each side of this bow. Okay, so here is that bow cut down to just under 42 inches. You can see it's the same bow. Let's give you a close-up view of it. We'll say George self bow. We've got the one knock as the native tribes did tied in at the top so you can string it very quickly. Let me show you that the bow is just under 42 inches. There you can see I've got my uh, measuring tape on the knock on the other end. Let's move it close so you can see. And here it is strung. Okay, so now we're going to shoot this in the chrono and then take it out to the garage and get a tiller on it. And we're going to compare the results to that 47 inch bow. Okay, so here we have that 42 inch Osage self bow with a 405 grain 27 inch arrow. We're going to shoot it through the chrono and let's see what speed we get. 155. Let's zoom in and take a look at that. That's a nice reading. So here's that 42 inch bow. We're going to pull it down to 20, 21, and 22 inches and get a draw weight at each one of those levels. Thirty-five pounds roughly at twenty inches. Approximately thirty-nine pounds at twenty-one inches. About forty-three pounds at twenty-two inches. So this forty-two inch bow cut from the forty-seven inch bow outperforms that 47 inch bow by approximately 7%. That's 155 feet per second with the 42 inch bow versus 145 feet per second with the 47 inch bow. So the next time you're watching a Western or one of those movies where you'll see a short bow like this shot off horseback, you'll have a new perspective for how efficient and how effective those bows would have been in the hands of experienced archers shooting off horseback who could unleash an arrow every one or two seconds.
Think what that would have been like trying to face that even with firearms. Thanks for watching and Merry Christmas.